Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about target locks. Now target locks happen to be a really easy rule that's really easily misunderstood and mistakes happen. And a lot of it comes down to the correct order that you're taking actions in. Um, one of the things that I see people do frequently, including myself unfortunately, is taking target locks at the inappropriate time after movement. So I've got an example set up here. I've got an FO TIE Fighter and I've got the T-70X Wing. So Poe Dameron and an Epsilon Squadron Pilot. Um, what'll happen sometimes is you'll have somebody come in and take a movement. So the TIE Fighter's gonna go first, his pilot skill is lower. He's gonna come in and reveals a straightforward two, right? Okay, no big deal. Uh, movement moves on to the next person. Poe Dameron comes in, he reveals a straightforward one. Okay, boom. No big deal. But now, all of a sudden, the TIE Fighter, all, he goes, oh, well, I forgot to take my action. I want to target lock. And so they measure for target lock, which it's really easy, just has to be range one through three, anywhere around yourself. Um, and he goes, okay, cool, I target locked the TIE, or the, the T-70 X-Wing. The problem is, because he did this out of order, the range has changed. Let's back him up for just a quick second. So the T-70, backs up out of his his one move okay now we range beyond three and so the tie fighter at the appropriate time to take the the target lock action couldn't have been able to do that poe dameron on the other hand after executing his maneuver as we already know absolutely could so the very easy to forget and a lot of it just comes down to you need to take the correct actions or take your actions after your movement and stop waiting to take them afterwards and going, oh, I messed up, you know, let me take my action now. With a rule like this that's so dependent on range, that really changes the game significantly. Now, target locks can be used in a couple different ways uh, and, and this also plays into another thing that I see people mess up uh, about when target locks fall off of a ship. Um, unlike a lot of the other tokens we use, like Focus or Evade, target locks don't fall off just at the end of the turn in that cleanup phase. Target locks are persistent. So let's just say that Poe Dameron, he got that target lock, right? So I've got a blue and a red token go on respective ships. Um, as these guys progress to move around the board, let's say they take some cool turns and such, just because the TIE Fighter is out, you know, behind the X-Wing or is some weird angle or got, have gotten completely out of range three, doesn't mean that the target lock falls off. It's gonna fall off when a card effect removes it or when it's used. And you use target locks for a couple different purposes. If you look at a lot of secondary weapons, uh, missiles and torpedoes primarily, one of the costs that they have is that you have to spend a target lock. No big deal. On top of that though, you also have the ability to spend a target lock to re-roll any number of dice that you'd like to when attacking. So uh, let's say that Poe Dameron got a great shot off on the TIE Fighter, right? So he rolls his three dice and he ends up with one hit and then a complete blank and a focus. He wants to re-roll the blank and the focus so he spends the target lock and can re-roll those two dice or just the one, whatever he really needs to do. So target locks really aren't that complicated. Just be sure to take them at the appropriate time during your turn. Remember that you can do them as long as you're within range three of any ship, no matter what the angle is. Uh, and they can be used for lots of different things like re-rolling attack dice and for spending it on secondary weapons. Really cool ability, really fun to use. I think it's overlooked a lot of the times, but it can be very effective in changing the tide of uh, a good couple of attack rolls. So hopefully this helps you. Tune in for more rules later. Thanks.